It's all of the other pieces that go into making something have as positive a possible impact on every, every step of the way. Uh, training there. <laughs>that comes from a lifetime of listening. Mm. So, you know, whether it's, uh, in my case, my mother was a pharmacist mm -hmm. and also just kind of an avid gardener mm. and love to, you know, I think it really is about having the roots of a rich family history. I think mm. really that's where probably my core of understanding has come from, mm -hmm. is from generations of working with with the natural world. Mm. So, you know, my grandfather on my mother's side was a gaucho in the pampas mm. of Argentina. Mm. And, you know, really had to survive off of the land and, mm. and carry that love of the land down through the generations. Mm. My mother, um, I think because she wanted to charm my father, <laughs> uh, made sure that she learned every recipe from my grandmother who was Turkish, right. his mother, yeah. and she would make things like rose jam mm. and violet liqueur. So wow. August in the garden at our home growing up was really about you know bringing the flowers in mm. and using them to make things. Mm. And then, you know, I think culturally my mother first looked to you know, again, I didn't understand it that way as a child, but, you know, folk medicine, right? Mm. Even though my father was a doctor, the, the real first go-to for mm. a cure would be something as simple. You have a stomachache, you have chamomile tea, mm. you have, you know, an eye, eye, eye issue. Mm. You know, you do a bath with, mm. um, you know, just a little water. Mm. If you have um, a stomachache, you drink tincture of belladonna, mm. and then that ends up going back to the little eye thing, you know, if you drink the tincture of belladonna, which is poisonous if you have too much, right. um, it makes your eyes very white. Wow. So the, the white of your eyes kind of, you know, so little things like that, yeah. you know, to puff up your lips, you mm. have a little bit of just like a capsicum. Mm. So just things like just mm. over and over repeated, I can't even think of all the things that she would do. And, and uh, nine times out of 10, they were things that she made herself. So I would say, um, it's really about paying attention and enjoying those things. Mm. Being in the moment with your with your family roots and appreciating them for what they were. And then over the course of study and time, I think that in college I did a lot of work in anthropology. Mm -hmm. So that you know, understanding uh, the the life of plants mm -hmm. and the impact that plants had on society. And then through that work, ended up um, in a place where. Kind of you don't really connect the dots until afterwards. Mm -hmm. With Shiseido, I had an incredible amount of exposure to large-scale, highly scientific product development mm. and combining those those mm. uh, points Too of well. view. And then, yeah. of course, you know we have in in-house now a wonderful chemist that mm -hmm. is responsible for challenge testing and dermatologically testing. Mm. And, you know, it's not like magic happens. It's magical because I think we have the respect. For the environment mm -hmm. and the respect for the ingredients mm -hmm. and pulling those things together in a way that really has impact and feeling mm -hmm. but it's you know it's all process driven as mm -hmm. well like it has to sustain itself on the shelf mm -hmm. and your skin and be really highly functional that mm -hmm. takes skill and time and testing mm -hmm. 